we're back with another episode of Salt Shaker Trio, Metal Gear Solid 3, Snack Eater. I'm Kim, with Kyle, Hello. and Jordan. Hello. Uh, we just got by the alligator place, and when I first played this, this part confused me, uh, with this electric fence. Did it confuse you, Kyle? Um, for a minute, I guess. I, it's really hard to remember for me back to 2004. Back when you had hopes and dreams. Back when you had healthcare. <laughs> <laughs> Truth. Anyway, yeah, this place is littered with uh, landmines. You could pick up a mine detector somewhere, but I didn't get it. It's not really necessary. Nope. I'm actually surprised you remembered that, because I did not, and would have just ran across the mines. Really? Yeah. There's also this, like, asshole dog that's down there somewhere. I should probably trank him. Wait, is there another claymore? Can you eat the dog? No, they disappeared. There is another claymore. Look at that ass. Right there. Oh, yeah, there it is. I'll pick that up to be safe. And then we can put it in the dog's walking path. Oh, no. <laughs> you're terrible. Maybe. Oh, man, you're 0% camo index. That's fine. They don't really look up. Nope. Here's the dog. Right in the head. Huh? Yeah, there's a guard that's gonna come by going, Where? What, what, what happened that? to my dog? I don't remember which way he comes from. Oh, Sparky, take a little nap. That's what the guards sound like in this Where? game. Where the hell is he? I don't know. Is he coming down from there? Walking? How is that branch not snapped? Is no one coming? Alright. Burp. Oh, Have there you? he is. I I hit the tree. I can't see his head. There we go. Oh no, Jesus! That was a really hard shot for me to see since I'm sitting like this. Oh. Why is he carrying bullets for a gun that he doesn't use? <laughs> you know what I used to do? That's really messed up. Now that I think about it. Mm -hmm. What I used to do is I would knock out the soldiers, mm -hmm. and then I would... Like, Drag them into the pit? Well, yes, that too, but what I'm thinking of is way worse. But I thought it was really cool at the time because of the detail. I would I would knock them out, and then I would shoot them in various parts of their body, like their their legs or their arms. Oh, and then I would wake them up, and I would hide in a box, and I would observe what they do. Oh. Like, when they wake up, you'd be like, oh, like, they noticed that there was something wrong with them. And then what? they would perform, perform first aid on themselves. They do? Oh, yeah, wow. they patch themselves up, and then they test it, and then they go like, yeah, I'm good. And then they just go on their day. Jeez. And then I just knock them out again and do it again and see if they do it again. And they, they always do it. You're it's, a fucking sociopath. It was just really you know, cool. That is a really cool detail. Yeah, though. I was just like, wow. They keep doing it. I missed that camera, but whatever. Do they wake up like, oh, fuck. Uh, that's a face paint up there, I think. Yeah, I know. I don't need it, though. You know what I used to do? Is knock them out and then drag them into the electric fence. I used to do that too. <laughs> See, that just reminds me of um. Which you can still do otherwise. You just have to do the the choke them out bit and you just push them into the fence. That reminds me of one of my favorite Dishonored stories. There's another dog around here somewhere. Where um. I'll be fine. When I finally decided in Dishonored One to um. Oh god. Uh, I set off the, the sound trap, but no one's alive. Uh, I'll wait to hear it rather. I decided to finally go stealth in that game, and I'd start choking people out. I already had the ability that when um, when someone dies, they turn into ashes. Mm -hmm. And I was choking someone out on a high platform, and I realized too late that the platform I was on didn't have a railing, so I choked him out, and then threw him down the railing, and I watched him fall for like a good minute, and I was like, please don't, please don't, and I was like, Poof, and he turned to ashes, and I was like, motherfucker, and I restarted the game. <laughs> it was horrible. You mean like my MGS4 stealth run? That's my favorite. He's like, okay, I'm going stealth in this game. And I watch him get to the first enemy, and he's like, no, I don't remember how to how to change the knife. Oh, yeah. To the stun mode. <laughs> and then you, you kill them with it. And he just, like, I just slit his, his throat. throat. <laughs> and I laughed. It was beautiful. It was literally the first enemy in the game. And then he's like, well, I guess I'm not doing a stealth run. I'm like, well, okay. Nope. I mean, that's also, like, sometimes I rely. Are you going to go to the second area? I'll look the, at the warehouse over there. Sometimes yeah. I assume that Kyle knows too much uh, about games. You can and when I do, 
things like his Molotov experiment happen. Yep. Where he thought... I wonder if I can burn this. Yeah, he, he's, he's like, oh, there's a bunch of... There's a bunch of these hand robots out there. I'm going to throw this at them and see if they could be burned. And what I thought was, oh, I bet that's a secret way to kill them. And then Kyle runs out there, throws it, aggros all of them, and goes, run away! And just <laughs> runs. And I was like, oh. I didn't know if it would work. You know what I also used to do in this game was I would always go to all of their warehouses, like the food and the armory, mm-hmm. and just blow them up. Oh, with the C4? Yeah, well, not C4 in this game, it's dynamite. Oh, yeah. Uh, doesn't it it affects something later in the game no it what it does is it, it affects everything like a few maps of the armory or warehouse they'll either be hungry or they won't have a whole lot of bullets so they they switch their sidearm oh okay and then when they're hungry it's easier to knock them out and they make a lot of noise and they're not they're not as uh alert so it's easier to sneak by them hmm so I, my, my play style for this game has changed a lot over the length of time that I've played it. Well, because, you know, after your sixth or seventh time playing the game... Yeah, you, you just really... find other things to do. <laughs> you just Well, with a game like this, too, there's so much shenanigans. There's so many things to do. I remember someone, uh, I think some Japanese person put up a video where they just took a lot of cool-looking pictures. Where there was one where they held up a guy. Mm-hmm. Under a building, and then they they tricked the guy on top of the building, and had him fall forward and fell in front of or on top of the guy that had his hands up, so it looked like they were holding up people. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Wow! Uh, here we have our first boss fight with Young Keeper Sutherland. Ah, oh, he Keeper. shot me mid roll. Oh, you're just trying to kill him. This is a trick. Is it? Yeah. Oh, you took the silencer off. That's bullshit. Well, he's invincible for a while after you hit him. Yeah, fuck him. Where are you? That... That totally missed. Oh, that guy's gonna shoot me, isn't he? Oh. Felt attention. We're also upcoming on the part I hated most in this goddamn game the when cave? I first played it. Yes. Yeah, the cave was kind of annoying too. The first time I played it, the cave was the worst thing. Where is he? Because at least the fight with the end, which admittedly took me several hours. Ah! Bullshit! Um, at least that was, like, tense and fun, you know? Mm. The cave was just obnoxious. I got him with a headshot for that one. You never shot his beret off, though. I shot him in the face. <laughs> That's why. So, we can get a. animal This uniform. is so bright. Compared to what I'm used to. Well, it's, uh... HD. I know. Uh, sorry? Yeah, it, it was because, like, all, you know, old old televisions, adjusting the brightness was way more difficult. So I was playing through this mostly blind. This is my favorite area in the game. Is it because of a certain meme video from 2005? <laughs> yes. No one was alive then. <laughs> Back when we all had healthcare. <laughs> Back when we all had healthcare. <laughs> Well, I guess no one will be alive soon yeah. when we don't have healthcare. I hope my knife doesn't break. <laughs> <laughs> oh, crap. It's too early to lose your eye, Snake. Take that, PETA. Fuck you. Oh. We must keep the people alive, but murder all the animals. I mean, we didn't do a good job at keeping one of them alive. One blew up real yeah. good. But we didn't do that. We didn't. Oh, look at that. I'm already through, and I don't have the torch. You gotta find the shotgun in here too. Yeah, the shotgun's in the next area. Oh, you're right. Skeleton. Here we go. How could I assume that you wouldn't remember where the shotgun is? I mean, if even if I miss it here, there's another place to get it. Isn't it way later though? It's in another armory. Or you could just wait till you get all the way to the bike ride and you'll have all the guns. <laughs> That's true. The but bike ride that there's no reason to not use the RPG for. Yeah. 
Yes. Oh, my precious. Wait. Does they give you more ammo for that? Get wrecked. Pick it up. What the fuck? You kicked a frog too. Maybe the frog was in the snake. I'm kicking the. F yes. Yes. Use your knife food and stab the frog. <laughs> I am a wizard! I wish I could crawl faster. I wish I had the fork too so I could just eat on the go. That show. <laughs> just, ooh, frog. Well, you gotta have some bad stuff happen to you before you can get the fork. Yes. Yeah. I don't I don't think I'm gonna do the, the Johnny cutscene, because that takes a while. Yeah, it does. Uh, wait, well, plus we're not even showing cutscenes, so... Well, it's not a, technically a cutscene. Technically. Are we also gonna show? Are you gonna show the snake's nightmare? Hmm. That little mini game. Yeah. I don't know. I'm probably just gonna skip it all. I don't want to spend too much time doing this. Which that was the precursor for Devil May Cry, wasn't it? No, the precursor to Devil May Cry was uh, original RE4. Yeah, yeah, you're right. That that other game was a precursor to something else, but I don't know if it ever happened. Yeah, maybe it was a canceled project or something. Oh, okay. Snow uniform. The most useless camouflage in this game? I'm gonna use it so much, though. When? So much. <laughs> you know, when I have to use the scientist uniform. Oh, Where? oh god. Oh god. Look at the size of those claws. Oh. I can rip a tank apart. <gasps> you did it. Broke my knife. That wasn't the boss crab. No. That wasn't boss crab. That was a baby underling crab. Is it that one? I don't know what to do. <laughs> Suitability. Dude, you would be deaf. <laughs> In that tiny little area for all that echoing. No, did you see that? I was even aiming at it. I saw that, yeah. God bless shotguns. In the 2000, or in the PS2 era. <laughs> that were just cones of damage most of the time. Oh, full on food. Food full. I guess, I guess I better eat all these crabs. Just eat them all. Wonder what the hell is that? Boss two. Yeah. Boss, boss two. time. The Hornet. Man, we're seeing two bosses in one episode. What is this? Dark Souls. What? From the end of one boss <laughs> at the beginning of another. I'm really everyone's, bad at uh, active reloading right now. It's everyone's favorite boss in this game. I'd like some bees, please. I like my women like I like my coffee. Black and, and covered in bees! <laughs> you missed. Okay. I'm not going on a date with you, you're covered in bees! Oh. Eddie is a joke, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, that's right, you can use the green for that. I just shot him in the, the gut so many times. Which uh, which one of the B and B unit uses the pains thing? I think I missed. I went fishing. <laughs> you hear all that? Fuck you, Peter. That's <laughs> still it's it. still going. Holy crap! Oh no! That one fell in the water too. Yeah, that. Fuck off, bees. I, I think hope. that one's going in the water. <laughs> this boss fight in speedruns is so crazy. They never even get out of the water. Really? Because you can shoot from the water. I, I remember getting his camo was real, real stupid, too. You just go out... Yeah, but you can miss the jump and you just go in the water. Yeah, and you have to true. swim all the way back around. What does his do? His is really dumb, right? I don't remember. Like, it makes bugs attracted to you, or you can shoot bugs? There it is. I'm not sure. You want to look that up? Yeah, I'll look it up right now. 
for that. What are you redneck fishing for? Oh, I saw that fish just fly out of the water. <laughs> Is there one there? DeLargo is going to come <laughs> up and eat you. Let's take that, PETA. Rawr. I'm wasting the food, too. Rawr. We've got throwbacks, callbacks, everybody. Oh, my spine. This part was... I don't think there was anything here. This is the next map, I believe. It actually has stuff. Wow, I need another suppressor. Yeah, that one's... Oh, yeah, there's an item in here. Got item. Nope. Never mind, I lied. Must be There's the another one. one. Must be the money. Must be the money. Is it this one? I don't want to go and take a ride with me. Shooting homies in the car. Snake. <laughs> Three. Oh, I went for a field. Oh, yeah, there's this mangoes way. here. There's rats and a snake. You're not allowed to eat the mango until you kick it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah eat all your right, food, Kim. Food. Eat it. Yeah. Delicious. Not too bad. Just eat everything, Snake. Mm. <laughs> Look at that crab! That's horrifying. Yeah. You can rip a tank apart. Throw some of the shit away. I love the internet. <laughs> Just type in the pain camo and it knows exactly what I want. <laughs> <laughs> what does it do? It's a good thing you picked that fruit. Hmm. I just like to imagine Snake going into a restaurant and just being like, ah, this works. Did I get anything? Pretty Killed tasty. some rats. I'm not even going to pick them up. What the hell? There should have been something out here. Oh, there it is. Mine detector. They would have helped with all the mines. Yeah, something just blew up. Yeah, I saw that too. It was one of those crabs that took out a tank. Prince Charming. Oh, I set off one of the frogs, but it wasn't me. It was an animal that walked into one of the claymores in there. Does that does this set off claymores? Yes, it does. <laughs> hey, snake. Did you, did you ever get the frog camo? No. That was too many to get. Did I? Is there any more? Oh my goodness. Yeah, there's like a hundred something. I can't tell if I got all the claymores. Oh, there's one right there. Right. No, no, I'm not using that. Don't eat the bats. They taste awful. Do they? Yes. I very distinctly remember that. Kim, why? Oh, so the pain's camo. Why, Kim? What? So much ammo. <laughs> nice. <laughs> bat, 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 bat. So the pain's camo wards off hornets, spiders, and leeches. Oh, it's also good for the allows spiders. the wearer to tame hornets. Tame hornets. Uh, if you shoot down the hornet's nest while wearing it, they follow you around. Oh, that's cool. Hype. But until how often you, do we use that shit? Though? Until you either take it off or no, just go for it, man. No balls. <laughs> uh, I guess before we go through this, uh, that'll be it for this episode. Bye, everybody.